Welcome growers! Today's video will be on what to grow in your S-Kit. We will cover crop selection, growing times, and harvesting methods. Some questions to think about before selecting what crops to grow are, what are your learning objectives, how often will your students engage the system, and what are you doing with the produce grown? In a classroom environment, leafy greens are highly recommended in the S-Kit because they are quick, hardy, and easy to grow. There are many different types of greens including lettuce, brassicas, mustard greens, and herbs. We refer to specific names of each type of green as a varietal. Lettuce is one of the easiest types of plants to grow in hydroponic systems. It can be harvested as baby leaf or as full heads. There are many different varietals of lettuce you can grow successfully in the esket. Leaf lettuce, butterhead or bib, and oak leaf are great options for first-time growers. The S-Kit is a great tool for introducing students to new flavors, colors, and textures. Swiss chard varieties can produce vibrant colored stems and roots. Sorel varieties have an intense, tangy flavor reminiscent of lemons. Arugula varieties have a savory, peppery flavor and tender leaves. Mustard greens have a powerful, spicy flavor, much like ground mustard seeds. Basil varieties are highly aromatic and can range from bright greens to deep violet hues. Kale varieties are hearty and nutritious, a great choice for soups, stews, and other cooked dishes. Spinach is not recommended for beginners because it is challenging to grow in hydroponic systems. When choosing what to plant, you'll need to consider plant growing times. The length of time depends on how large you want the leaves to be at harvest. Starting from seed, lettuce can take 20 to 28 days for baby leaves and between 42 to 50 days for full heads. Kale, arugula, Swiss chard, and mustard greens can take 24 to 32 days. Culinary herbs often take longer to start and mature. Basil is one of the quickest growers and can take six to eight weeks. Sometimes herbs can be challenging to germinate, so plan for seeding more than you need and give them an additional time to grow. They often require warm, humid conditions to germinate, so a heat source might be necessary for best results. Always refer to the growing instructions on your seed packet for the most accurate information. Deciding on a planting harvesting schedule can also affect populating your S-Kit. Depending on your learning objectives, we recommend two approaches to harvesting, single harvest or staggered harvest. Planting for a single harvest means that you will cut everything in the module at the same time. This method is a good choice if you want to use what you're growing for an event, such as making a salad for parent night. This is the easiest method because there is less planting required. We suggest planting all four rafts with all the same varietal or varietals that have a similar growth period. Planting for a staggered harvest can be more complicated, but means there are always plants growing in the S-Kit. For this method, you will plant one raft at a time. For example, your class would plant a new batch of seeds every other week so that students can see plants at different stages of growth. This method is a good choice for incorporating the esket into a classroom where more hands-on activities may be desired. Great job, growers! For more content, visit our website at sananbious.com or follow us on social media.